Hello everybody, it is 9.51 AST on Freaky Freaky Friday. But it is quite magnificent because S&P was <laughs> in reversal zone this Friday. So this is actually trade number 16 on S&P. We have only one negative trade out of 16 as of this trade. So 11 points later on S&P, S&P is in pullback mode. So why in the world was I so excited about this trade on S&P? So this is the most critical level. It's the end of the minor trend on weekly. Where I expected this rally from. So if you know anything about the price, when you come to the markets and you see the end of the minor trend on weekly with reversal zone on hourly, you want to buy, buy, buy. And that's exactly what we've done. We also know extremely well where to wait and monitor for the selling pressure from. I know extremely well that the selling pressure is extremely, extremely temporary. And once it will finish, this is where I expect S&P to go to, as you would have another opportunity to re-enter S&P. So here we are, another 11 points on S&P. Happy Friday, everybody. Trade number 16 since October 1st, 15 positive trades using only price and Fibonacci. So we continue taking longs and longs and longs on S&P. This is my trade number 18, third trade this morning, third trade this morning, which putting me at 18 trades, 17 positive. Is that clear? Since October 1st. Now, do not be fooled, as I spelled out, expect huge selling pressure. How magnificent this price. I spelled out, move your stop to break even. Oil remains in pain. We are long oil, long oil. All oil has to do is blast through reversal zone to continue for spectacular rally further up. But this is a massive, massive, massive pain level. This is, remains the key. Trade number 18 on S&P, 8 points later. Marvelous, marvelous Friday. Oil is struggling at the first target. Stop at break even. So this is the most exciting place you can ever buy from. Buy, buy, buy when S&P weekly tells you the end of the minor trend is here. That's why my bias remained completely bullish. It was extremely exciting place to be. This also reminded you it's the end of the major bearish trend. So look to buy, buy, buy. Do not ever shorten to this area. Do not ever get tempted because two things happen. Opposite trend correction or opposite trend reversal. Three trades later, only longs had been done on S&P. I live and breathe weekly levels. When you come to the room and you see hourly combined with weekly, you dance with joy and you buy, 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 and you never, ever, ever, ever short into. Price is magic. Just play by the rules and the skies are the limit. And guess what? What did you just see? What did I just say? Weekly S&P, buy, buy, buy. And that's my trade on oil to the upside, struggling for dear life. It don't matter to me if I trade daily, monthly, weekly, one, three minutes or 35, whatever it is, formula remains the same. I said respect this level dearly on oil. I said know it and do not ignore it. Take the profits of the table and move your stop to break even. The same level to the upside on oil as on S&P weekly to the downside. It's all the same. Only you know what's appropriate for you and your account size and your risk management. Is your account size big enough to trade weekly? Please do. Is your account size small? Trade small time frames, whatever speaks to you and your comfort level. Here we are, my stop as well outside of break even. Eight points on S&P are out. I am monitoring for short. So, so far, only one negative trade on S&P since October 1st. 
17 positive. It's been absolutely breathtaking market on S&P. Stellar, picture perfect, power of Fibonacci and price. Ideal buying opportunities that we've taken advantage of once again, as we know how marvelous 1910 is. That simple. So you're witnessing the importance of respecting reversal zones and never ever 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 get tempted too short into this area. This is where we only buy, buy, buy. And that remains the key. So, if S&P has power to blast through 1921.50, buckle up. 19.25 is next. And then the rally had just begun that will go on until 19.34 and all the way until 19.43 and a quarter. My bias remained only long. And that's the power of the price. That's all there is. So this is extremely exciting chart. Just reminds you that it doesn't matter what you trade if you trade daily, weekly, monthly. So what am I seeing on Euro? This is what I'm seeing on Euro. I'm seeing that Euro is going up, up, up. This is the most powerful bullish structure I have not seen on Euro in two years. This is where Euro is going further up 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 reversal zone 12850 will remain the most important level in the market structure on euro once euro will blast through that level we are home free euro just taught you the importance of separating corrections from reversals if you know where reversal is you had marvelous opportunity to buy since October 2nd ideal point currently euro in correction once that is over this reversal zone 2850 will remain critical so you have an opportunity to buy euro currently on retrace but this is precisely the reason why I had been only buying 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 S and B this morning and that last 10 point rally reminded you once again the importance of taking only longs, never shorts into reversal. And that's exactly what we're seeing on Euro. Worthless corrections and finally powerful reversal. So guys, let's wrap up the discussions about Euro before I give you the summary as of today. So again, our bias remains bullish on Euro. I expect the buyers to step in. I expect pretty powerful bullish day on Euro and Euro continue until 2850. This will remain the very much key level. So again, let's take a look and let's see what we accomplished so far this month on S&P and oil. On oil, I completed 16 trades, 13 trades, made it to the first target multiple times. First target is decision point two, or reversal zone. S&P had been absolutely stellar, absolutely stellar. 18 trades, 17 positive. 15 of them blasted to reversal zone or further up. Today was absolutely the best Friday I can remember on S&P as we've been buying, buying, buying. It's been extremely powerful buy area because it was not just S&P hourly. It was S&P weekly. Do not ever, ever, ever ignore the end of the minor trend that will forever remain my favorite place to monitor for reversals. So when you see that on weekly, you take advantage on very small time frames. And that's been the case this morning on S&P with endless push to the upside. Oil continues struggling, cannot break through reversal zone one. As you could see, oil hourly. The same exact thing I'm reminding you that we're monitoring for on Euro daily. Do not ignore this level. 
monitor huge selling pressure prior that will determine if euro will continue rally further up have a magnificent weekend look forward to seeing you in education room bright and early monday 9 15.